John had been searching for a job for months. He had applied to countless positions, but no matter how qualified he was, he couldn't seem to land an interview. Finally, after weeks of persistence, he received an email inviting him to interview at a top marketing firm. John was thrilled. He spent hours researching the company, practicing his responses to common interview questions, and perfecting his resume. He felt confident, and prepared as he walked into the office for his interview. The interview itself went smoothly. John answered questions about his experience, skills, and goals, and he even had a chance to ask the interviewer a few questions of his own. He left the office feeling proud of himself and hopeful about his chances. A few days later, John received an email from the company. His heart raced as he opened it, expecting to see an offer letter or at least some feedback on his interview. But instead, he was shocked to see a rejection letter. Confused and disappointed, John decided to follow up with the company. He called the HR department and asked if they could provide some feedback on his interview. The representative hesitated before telling John that while he had been very qualified and had done well in the interview, the company had decided to go with another candidate whose skills were a better fit for the team. John was skeptical. He knew that he had the skills and experience the company was looking for, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something else was at play. He decided to do some research and discovered that the company had a history of discriminatory practices. John was angry and hurt. He knew that he had been a victim of racism and discrimination. He decided to file a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission EOC, and share his story with others to raise awareness about the issue. The EOC investigation found that the company had indeed engaged in discriminatory practices, and John was awarded a settlement. But more importantly, the company was forced to implement new policies and training programs to prevent future instances of discrimination. John's story serves as a reminder that discrimination is still a reality in the workplace, but it also shows that we have the power to stand up against it and demand change. John's courage and determination inspired others to speak out against discrimination. And his story continues to be a catalyst for progress and equality. John thought that the hardest part of his journey was over when he finally landed a job at a new company after the discrimination he faced at the previous one. He was excited to start fresh and prove himself in a new role. However, little did he know that a new challenge was awaiting him. One of his colleagues, a senior manager named Alex, seemed to take an instant dislike to John. Alex would often make snide comments about John's work, questioning his competence and judgment. At first, John tried to brush it off as mere teasing, but as the days went by, the comments became more frequent and more aggressive. Alex would often belittle John in front of their co-workers, making him feel humiliated and powerless. John started to doubt his abilities and felt like he was walking on eggshells, never knowing when Alex would strike next. Despite his best efforts to ignore the bullying, John found it affecting his work and his overall well-being. He started to feel anxious and depressed, and his performance began to suffer. One day, John decided that he had had enough. He scheduled a meeting with HR and reported the bullying, providing detailed accounts of Alex's behavior. The company took his complaint seriously and launched an investigation. After a thorough inquiry, the company found that Alex had indeed engaged in bullying behavior and took appropriate disciplinary action and had him fired. John finally felt a sense of relief and vindication, knowing that he didn't have to face the bullying alone. The company also provided John with support and resources to help him recover from the experience. He was offered counseling sessions and was given additional training to help him build his confidence and resilience. John's story serves as a reminder that bullying in the workplace is never acceptable and that there are resources available to help those who are affected. 
It also highlights the importance of companies taking complaints seriously and taking prompt action to address them. In the end, John emerged stronger and more determined than ever, and his courage inspired others to speak out against bullying and discrimination in the workplace. John's experience with discrimination and bullying had a profound impact on him. He realized that he wasn't alone and that many others had gone through similar struggles. He wanted to share his story, to inspire and empower others who may be facing similar challenges. John decided to write a book about his journey, from facing discrimination in the workplace to overcoming bullying and finding success. He poured his heart and soul into the manuscript, sharing his struggles, his fears, and his triumphs. When the book was finally published, John was nervous but hopeful. He had no idea how it would be received, but he knew he had to share his story. The response was overwhelming. The book resonated with readers from all walks of life, and soon John was receiving messages from people all over the world who had been inspired by his story. The book became a bestseller, with over a thousand copies sold in the first month alone. John was thrilled, but more importantly, he was grateful that his story was making a difference in people's lives. John's book tour took him to cities across the country, where he met readers who shared their own stories of struggle and triumph. He realized that his book had become a beacon of hope for many, and he was humbled by the responsibility. As the book's popularity continued to grow, John became a sought-after speaker and mentor. He used his platform to advocate for diversity and inclusion, inspiring others to share their own stories and fight for their rights. John's book had not only changed his life but also the lives of countless others. He had found a new purpose, and he knew that his story would continue to inspire and empower generations to come. The title of John's book was Rising Above, My Journey from Discrimination to Triumph. It became a classic in the self-help and memoir genres, and its impact continued to be felt long after its initial publication. John's book, Rising Above, My Journey from Discrimination to Triumph, became a phenomenal success, exceeding all expectations. It topped the bestseller lists, and the sales figures were staggering. The book's popularity translated into a significant increase in John's bank account, making him a wealthy man. The financial success of the book allowed John to quit his job and focus on his passion for writing and speaking. He became a sought-after motivational speaker, traveling the world to share his inspiring story with others. His message of resilience and determination resonated with people from all walks of life, and he became a beloved figure in the self-help and personal development community. As John's wealth grew, so did his business acumen he invested in real estate, stocks, and other ventures, becoming a savvy entrepreneur. He also started his own publishing company, helping other authors share their stories and achieve success. John's self-made success story was an inspiration to many he had overcome adversity and achieved greatness through his hard work and determination. John's wealth and success also enabled him to give back to his community. He established a foundation to support education and entrepreneurship initiatives, providing scholarships and mentorship programs for young people. He also donated to various charities, supporting causes that aligned with his values. John's rags to riches story was a testament to the power of the human spirit.